Hey everyone, this is Jordan from SleekWings.com. I just wanted to make a very quick video about those of you who might be having trouble with Clone Stamp. There's a lot of people who are learning how to use the Clone Stamp tool, a very awesome and powerful tool, but there are some people out there who try to use it and it's not working for them. And I'm going to show you a very simple fix for this. It's just a matter of choosing a different setting. So let's hop in here. So what I, what I have is this uh, photo here and I want to remove this red balloon. Now what you can do is go over here to your clone stamp tool and just uh, let's sample this blue area right here and I'll start removing the balloon. Not a big deal. That's how you would typically do it and it's gone. Uh, so if I undo all of that, what I want to do is actually do this non-destructively. So what that means is I want to remove the balloon but do it on a different layer. That way if I ever need to bring it back it will be just as easy as just deleting the layer and the balloon will reappear. And so if I were to do that, I would go up to uh, create a brand new blank layer here and I would do the same thing like I just did. I would sample in this little area and as I try to paint away this balloon, it's not working. It's not letting me sample anything over here and the balloon is still there. The reason for this is just one small sample setting and you can see that right up here where it says sample and it says current layer. Uh, it's set on current layer because that's usually the default but on, I have a blank layer. I have a layer with nothing on it so when I try to sample it it's sampling nothing. If I wanted to go up here and make the balloon disappear uh, and clone it out on a blank layer, I would just need to change this from uh, current layer to uh, current and below or all layers. I typically do current and below and that way I can uh, put this up at the top and then it would sample everything below uh, including all adjustments to color or anything like that. So now if I were to go over here and sample there and paint this away. You can see it's going away and there it goes. Obviously I need to clean it up a little bit but for the most part you can see that it's gone. So now I can toggle this off, toggle it back on and I can see you know it's it's gone there. If I ever got in a, a situation where I need to bring it back all I gotta do is just delete this layer and the balloon is back. So this is kind of a twofold thing. Uh, if you're having trouble and you can't figure out why the clone stamp tool is not working you just need to change that one setting and you'll be good to go. But also remember to work non-destructively in Photoshop. It's a very powerful tool in Photoshop to use that. Uh, but there are occasions where you might mess up and later in your project you want to bring something back. And non-destructive way is, uh, is the way to do that. So thank you guys for joining me in this video. This has been Jordan from Sleeklands and I'll see you in the next one.